Another world record going down here. Nice. Nice. So, this world record is the actual 100% co-op world record done by me and the Haxor. If you guys would like to know who the Haxor is, Haxor, you can go ahead and type in your Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Haxor, the underscore Haxor. Not even underscore, the Haxor. Eh, it'll be in chat, you guys. Don't even listen to me. Just go ahead and follow it. Give him a follow. He does uh, Mario 3 runs and all that, all that beautiful Mario 3 swag. Um... SMB for life. He is Luigi. I am Mario. So when you watch Luigi make mistakes, I just want you to know it's not me. It's him. Just kidding. We all made mistakes. Yeah, so or you guys could just click the Haxer's name, but it's actually a lot better if you actually put in your uh, title of your stream. Um, but yes, so this is going to be the 100%. Now, when we started recording this at GDQ, this was actually two days after the SMB3 mix. We were like... We did uh, a lot of warpless races, so we were like, hey, let's do some co-op stuff. Um, and what actually happened was, is we looked, we didn't even look on the leaderboard. We looked on the leaderboard like three days ago, prior to this. And the world record for this was, mine and Carew is 2014, which is a 127, 100% uh, co-op runtime. And then we got this record and looked at the leaderboard and we were like, dope, man, new stuff on the leaderboard. It turns out people had actually already beat mine and Carew's time, Calco and someone else, can't remember. However, their time was just not as good as our time, so we still ended up getting the world record, which is awesome. So, this is the recording of the brand new co-op 100% world record, done a lot better than what Carew and I did. What about me and Pooh? Me and Pooh did the did a warpless co-op, um, but me and Haxer had already beaten that warpless co-op a couple months ago when Haxer came to my place. Yeah, it was weird. People were like posting on Twitter, like poor Pooh or whatever, like Pooh is pissed, but Pooh and I never even did 100% co-op. We did warpless and this is 100%. So it was kind of funny. Oh, check out that tunnel. Yes, I just got, yeah, I just played the video of the SMB3 Warpless. The, or sorry, the, the SMB3 mix, world record run. I just, so I can upload it. <laughs> Are you Mario? Never mind, had to be you with the tunnel. So the cool thing with co-op is that like, so Haxor finishes, Haxor finishes like the rest of the world up here, level three and four, while I, while I scan through the rest and get ready to finish. It actually allows... Some people, depending on where they are in the map, to do fast scans along the map. It's really cool. So, him and I both had, I think, four, no, two levels each that we both bombed, which is actually pretty good considering our skill. I really messed up 3-2. He really messed up uh, from what you've seen so far. 1-3. Um, uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin the rest of it for you guys. I'll, uh... Turn up the volume a little bit for you. So what record does the Hacks or Image Flyer have in co-op? Just 100%, uh, any percent warpless, and any percent no wrong warp. Which all of them can be beaten. We don't have them all. We don't have like all forts. We don't have uh, any percent. Did we route before the run? Naturally, I had already kn knew the route. Um, and it's hard to route this because uh, the Hammer Brothers change paths and directions and which way you go. And luckily everything worked out. We also did something different from the 100% co-op. We did actually come up with a very interesting route in the in World 8, which I actually think is really cool that we did that. So you guys are going to be able to see that, which is, which is pretty cool. Co-op wrong warp, yeah, yeah. One person just gets the whistles, the other person just keeps dying. It's so stupid. So that bump on the over overworld map was intentional by him. It allowed him to buffer movements and do the fastest possible movements on the map by holding the direction. Year anniversary woo. What do you mean? Wish there was audio. You guys not hear any audio here? I see it on the- I hear it. Mm -hmm. 
My audio with who? I can turn it up. Yeah, I thought audio was fine. What audio are you talking about, Matt? Of you all. What, during this run? Oh, yeah, I was gonna have Haxer come on uh, this stream when I was talking about this stuff, but I just kind of want to have, like, a one-on-one -on -one with you guys. I don't really want to... I just want to do a one-on-one, -on -one, <clears throat> essentially. Um, I'll probably have him come on, and we'll probably do something interesting. There's some really cool things we can actually do with uh, the Nintendo Switch, so this could become a very exciting year. Yeah, well, the audio would have been fucked anyways, because we're in the practice room, it's so loud. Yo, KLMs, what's going on? How's DDQ amazing? Yo, what's up, Andrew G? Thank you. So I used two different capture cards. For this, the capture card I used for this, for this run right here was the Avermedia Aver Portable, it was like an eight, it was a portable one or two, I can't remember, 852, I don't know. And the other one was, I can't remember. <laughs> I used two different capture cards. What up, Lex? How's it going? Odyssey runs? No. Alright, so we're off to World 2. World 2's doing really good. Can do co-op SMB3 over the NES online on the Switch? Uh, you could, yeah, but I don't think it would be... I think it would be slower and we'd have a lot of input delay, which would kind of suck. Yo, I'm glad you're home. Safe and sound, Caleb. I'm glad you're home. Welcome back, Mitch. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for talking. Taking a few minutes of your busy day to talk. Yeah, no problem. I would have talked to you a lot more, but... So many of those hallway drive-bys, man. They, they should be called hallway drive-highs. Where you just walk down the hall and you see some hi, but nobody has time to stop and talk. The drive-highs. Yeah, wrong warp stupid. It's a dumb category. I'll never do the co-op wrong warp. You guys don't understand how dumb the wrong warp is. It's such a stupid category. It's party trick. And like, I I had to sit on the edge of the wrong warp for like three years, right? Like I did at GDQ, it blew up and everyone wanted me to do it. And then I'd do it on stream. Everyone was like, ah, this is so much fun. Do it more, Mitch. Ah. And then I had to do it on the Colbert show. And then I just did it at last at GDQ whenever my console got fucked. And it's just, ah, it's so dumb. <laughs> It's just not fun anymore for me at all. So, I also don't feel like resetting for movements of two in World 1. That's dumb. Well, it's too late. I can't I can't put my 100% times on the left now because the splits are already closed. I'd have to open them, which would stop my timer and or restart them. And besides, it would, it would be so jank. The difference is like 13 minutes. It wouldn't even be enjoyable. Welcome it would just be back, all red Mitch. splits. I watched the race and it was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. The race was good. I don't mean to put put it down for you guys. I know you guys all like wrong warp and a lot of people really like wrong warp, but I think because I just did it way too much, I dislike it that much. And if I'm gonna do world one, damn it, I'm gonna do world one and do something with it, not do world one and reset movements of ugh. Blech. Yo, thank you, Jacob. It was a really good race. the loot crate thanks a lot the shirt is awesome nice yeah loot crates are dope gotta love the loot crates man thank you are the chances of movements of one known or still a mystery uh depends on what frame you end the level at so it's not much of a chance in in a form of percentage i could do co-op garlic bread i could
Ah, that's the... Yeah, you jump over that shell. <clears throat> that's only like a second time loss, barely. Woo! Yeah, I've only been streaming for an hour. Hour and hour, 20 minutes, I think. I can't wait to get back to the grind. Even when I came back yesterday, I was like, ugh. I have restreams to do today. <sighs> close. Boy, was that close. Am I playing right now? No, I got... I recorded this run at GDQ, and we got the world record, so now I have to re-record it with some kind of audio and some kind of confirmation that I'm talking about it and, you know, a pre pre-verification anyways. And then, uh, so I can submit it and stuff like that. Yeah, again, with this run, I we had crowds of people uh, back and forth. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure for the entire World 3, I was talking with um, Raging Cherry. Someone from Red Bull, the whole time. Uh, I took a picture with someone in the middle of this run as well, I'm pretty sure. Didn't I, Haxor? And the SMB3 mix world record, good Matt. Yes, I did. Yeah, the good thing about this, so like like we said, so the way the boss patterns work is that Haxor hasn't scrolled the screen yet, so he doesn't need to when doing the boss here, so he's gonna get the good boss pattern. I got the worst pattern with the Hammer Brother there, but I don't have to move back up. So really, I didn't lose that much time. Why they didn't get the reaction, that would have been dope. Well, there was no webcams or microphones. Right? We were just we were just recording live like feed, like video feed. Would wrong warp be fun? Okay, for me, there's nothing fun about the wrong warp. No matter what way you slice it, it's just not fun. Are the categories for this game any percent wrong warp, any percent no wrong warp, any percent warp less than 100%? Yes, just those four. Uh, you also have uh, all forts, which uh, I mean should be an official category, whether it's arbitrary or not. Uh, it's still like an interesting, and uh, there's some cool little things about that category that other categories don't have, but it's in the categories extensions. So, yes, just those four categories. Just the four. No, we don't share items. No, we don't share items. So we have to really remember who has what. You got the pattern you were expecting. You just freaked it up. Hey, yo, thanks, True Hyper Mario. I really appreciate that. So the world record for this category was a 105 or something, or a 125. I can't remember what the other guys got, but we were trying to go up against a 127. Yo, thanks, Slippy. Miss Slippy's car is a green. Is there an exclusive co-op strap uh, in terms of what, E Dave? Andrew asked the chat, asked a question early in chat. I don't know if that was directed at me. I have no idea. <laughs> Billy likes to drink soda. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say this is a restream. This is still a live stream. Like, you're still getting a live MFP. Um, but this is a recording that I did at GDQ in the practice room of getting the world record. And now I'm replaying it live with commentary so that when I submit it, it's not a shitty video. So cheap. But I made it work. Oh my gosh, that was so scary.
No, no, the gameplay isn't live. That's right, external for us. No, it's not live. Isn't AGQ to the same people who keep track of that? No, this I didn't do this. I didn't do this run at GDQ. No, I just played. I was just playing this in the practice room, and we were recording an attempt. Okay, so here's the interesting thing about 100% and time losses. So like that was a huge time loss, but once you start incorporating two different people on the same run. You have to sometimes take what you can get, right? Because one, you don't have time to be around each other all the time, right? I agree with you. There is pretty big time saves in this run. Um, but A, getting two uh, really skilled people in the same room for more than like a day or three days is really hard. B, getting b two different people to not make mistakes throughout the run is the hardest part, right? So we definitely had to take these runs as they were. We only did, I think, two resets. One one was shit and the other one I wasn't recording. We almost did an attempt without recording. That was very close. I know that's yeah. You can if you're ever wondering who's Luigi and who's Mario, you can look in the bottom left corner. Right down here. It'll say L or M. So I had the P-Wing, so I obviously you guys have watched 100% runs a lot. The person with the P-Wing needs to do this level. <laughs> Did I set world record for most world records in practice room? I don't know. I got, uh, I got two of them, Sniper Show. I got the SMB3 mix world record, any percent, and then I got the co-op 100% record with Haxor. Yo, thank you, Bobo. So because I use the P-Wing, it's time for me to go ahead and start finishing the world, right? I do this level to get my fire flower, and then I continue to move on for the rest of the world. How much I curse when I screwed up in 3-4? In which 3-4? Uh, I'm playing with somebody by the name the Haxor, another uh, really good Mario 3 runner. My middle name is not Rich. I have not sold out on the loot crates, no. There's like 19 left, so get them while they're here. Oh, you screwed up 3-4. Oh, yeah. Um... Got you. MFP Shang, man. MFP Shang. Frickin' Shang. Uh, do, since we're doing what we're doing now, do you guys want, do you guys want to do a recap of the GDQ run as well? Hey Mitch, I loved watching your run at GDQ. Thank you. Congrats on winning the race. Thank you. Right on. Yeah, that was fun. Do you guys want to do, do you guys want me to hit up some commentary for the, for the GDQ race? Yeah, okay, we'll do that too, since we're doing a lot of the, the rebroadcast. Yeah, we'll go back, and I'll tell you guys all the little things, all the funny things about it that you guys didn't get to know just as, like, watching it. Why are my cheeks ever shiny? <laughs> I got the shiny cheeks. Yeah. I fucked up this level bad because I thought I had the tail. Got him! But I fixed it. Oh no, yeah, I fell down there. Yeah, that's fine. But this was actually cool, look at this. Woo! That actually turned out pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that. Don't worry, 
I will be getting back to the SMB3 runs tenfold tomorrow, I promise. Today I have to do this because, you know, and I might as well do it live, I'm not just gonna do it offline and like talk to no one. No, I blared my volume. I blared my headset, all I could hear is my game. I couldn't hear anyone else. Oh god, yes, Haxor's fun little experiment. <laughs> you could have just ran left. Oh, and that guy almost got you. It worked out. Now really close your eyes. How many world records do I have? I'm not sure. I don't know. My wall did have a great vacation, you little frig. I'm back, though. I'm back. So, Haxor, Haxor was destined to beat me in a warpless race. So we did a bunch we did a bunch of warpless races and we did the traditional if either player messes up in one one, we just reset and it doesn't count towards the races. Bowtie! Welcome back, dude. Yes, how are you, man? I've missed you. I missed all you guys. Um, anyways, sadly, sadly, he was unable to beat me. However, he did do this run run where he was playing really, really well. Got no hands. Got 7-1 first try, he was doing great, and for some reason, you guessed it, he didn't go into a door in the fortress, he fell in the Regu. He fell into the Regu and lost the race by, which would have been probably 10 seconds, but he was like, fuck this, which I would have been the same, and I would have been pissed. Next time, though, Haxor, we got, we got it next time. Hila, welcome back. Is it Hila or Hila? Hila. I don't know. One of those. What up? I'm sure you guys are glad to have me back. Yo, thanks, Bowtie. I really appreciate that. It has been 10 days, 10 days since the Warpless World Record. But I also got the 3 mix World Record while I was at GDQ. We just watched it. And this is the 100% co-op World Record that Haxer and I just uh, set a couple days ago. So it's been pretty good. Been pretty good. And then we are back to the Mario grind tomorrow, guys. Ooh, yeah. The Jesus clip, the most viewed clip? Yes. It has to be the most viewed clip. Three world records in ten days. I didn't think about I didn't think about that. Of course you can. Rastalia, of course you can. That's what GDQs are for. A lot of the times when I'm at GDQ, if I have a run, I'm like super focused on runs until my run and then after my run, I like dedicate all my time to all of you guys as much as I can. Wait. Uh, my my full streams do not go to YouTube, but my PBs and stuff go to YouTube. NFP high filling them cabinets. Oh my gosh, Winter Soldier! Woo! Thank you. Jesus, guys, can we get some love for that? Holy craves! I almost sounded like I said holy crabs. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, man. Did you miss me, Winter Soldier? Bowtie with the 1,000 bits as well. You guys missed me. I missed you guys too, man. Day six, I was like, oh man, I want to get... I was so excited to stream today. I was like, come on, man, because I want. I wanted to make sure I still started at the same time, right? I want to start at the same time every day. I don't want to, you know. And I was just like, everyone's waiting for me to come back. Now I'm back. And I'm ready. I'm ready for more grinds more than ever, man. I'm going to go back to 100%, bring that time down a lot more. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be setting up my any percent warpless early hammer manipulation, which is gonna be lovely. So this is unavoidable. Boom, spade card, unavoidable. I the funny thing was the funny thing was he's he didn't realize that he matched two pieces. 
So he sat there for like four seconds. He didn't think he didn't think he matched anything, so he's like, the game's done, right? No. You remember? And I was like I was like pointing at the TV and I I I made it worse. I'm gonna be doing both bow tie. I'm gonna be staying with 100 percent and then in my off time I'm gonna be working on the early hammer manipulation strat. And then when I'm ready, I'll just start streaming the warpless strat. So that I, like, I don't want to start streaming the early hammer manipulation strat now because I won't be as good and my timing won't be as good. So I'm going to spend a whole day just resetting in World 1 and 2. I don't want to do that. So offline, I'm just going to be doing World 1 and 2 just in my own time, you know, doing chores or something, cooking dinner or doing whatever and just doing, getting used to the timing. I know, I can't wait either. He's got the sweet, sweet star, which actually comes in handy later. Sweet, su 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 sweet, can. Unfortunately, it does not Super Hanabi because the friends that I had growing up did not play Super Mario Bros. 3. Neither did I either. <clears throat> Until Mario 3 came out on the Wii. When Mario 3 came out on the Wii Virtual Console, I had not played Mario 3. Last time I played Mario 3, I was probably 7 years old or something. I never touched it again until I was 16 or whatever. <clears throat> hmm. Which, which player is this one? <laughs> Just kidding. No, this is the co-op 100% world record that I got with... Uh, hack sorts uh, at GDQ. Yes. yes. Is it hard to adjust when a new route is made? Uh, for me in Mario 3, not really. A new route is probably a route that I've already thought of in the past, and I don't even know. There was new one new thing that we decided to do at the end of this record, which was actually pretty interesting. Um, it's pretty cool that I don't think I did with anyone else in any other co-ops. Yeah, the Hammer Brother RNG in this world was pretty trashy. So, in 100% co-op, the concept is still the same. You want to beat all the Hammer Brothers as fast as possible, and luckily for us, it worked out. But we made one slip-up routing-wise here. Winter Soldier with that gift sub. Yo, Matt, welcome to the family, man. Dude, World 4 Hammer Brothers are the worst. Nice. Uh, I don't have everything. Uh, I'm still gonna do 100% and 90% warpless. Grind that, grind those babies down. Yo, Jasper Ozzy, thank you. Yo, Moogs, what's going on, dude? Hacks her with the Clutch Fortress. Oh, yeah. Both of us. Both of us killed the end of this world. Also, I wish I could fast forward the, the airship here, but we can't. I'd really like to, but we can't. Now remember, while him and I are doing this run, there's crowds of people all around us making noise. We have people standing around us too. There's like people gaming in the distance all the way over there. There's just rows and rows of TVs. You got the stream going on, the wall over there. And then you got World 9 with all their setup and crew and it's just all over the place. 
Yeah, the only thing wrong with this World 4 was the unfortunate Hammer Brother movements, but again, we were able to get rid of them quickly. Yo, thanks, Bowtie. Yeah, well, it, if it wasn't for that s stupid death in in the second level in the three mix race, I didn't even do anything. I pressed A, but I, I the fish went up into my feet at the same time, so my input didn't register, and I fell into a pit. What the heck, man? And that just set me back because I had to actually do the extra hammer, brother, because I died. So that death cost me way too much time, sadly. It was just a snowball effect. Yeah, my travels were, were pretty good, pretty safe, just long. I heard your car didn't start, Moogle. Freaking cars. Oh, the minute-long clip, right? Oh my god. You can see the look in my face. Cooking hot wings. Mm. This is a very high tactical, uh, tactical stage. It's so hard that I can do it without pressing anything. Dude, Alpine with the gift sub to Frig3. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Uh, didn't you decide to stomp on this boss? I'm pretty sure this boss got the stompins. <laughs> he was he was jumping twice though, so jokes. Uh, there's no rule about letting one player ga get game over. You, do, you don't want anyone to get game over in co-op. Hmm, I love when shit breaks for no reason. That's my favorite part about life. It just stops working. It's like, no. The worst is when, like, something shows no signs of breaking. It's like, it works the best it's ever worked the day before it breaks. It just, like, makes no sense. Excuse me, sorry guys. Yo, Blonde Geek, what's up? Yo, thank you. I really appreciate that. I had a lot of fun. Hey, nice job, Mitch. Good level, not friggin' anything up. Nice job, Mitch. Woo! So, how was your guys' GDQ? Tell me all about it. Was it awesome or what? Open in the window. Wait, why did the MFP bot wake you up? Damn you, MFP bot. Yo, take it easy, Freak 3. Yo, the cool thing about 100% is when that bridge opens, you don't have to take the pipe anymore. Wee! So right now, him and I were talking about how we were gonna, how we we're gonna do this. But I, I figured, I needed, I needed items at this point. Yo, thank you, Kush. Penistrations, yes. Yeah, it was not telestrations.
Close your eyes. This one wasn't that bad. Yeah, this wasn't that bad. Much better recovery than, than uh, things I've seen. And then you risked it. Remember right here with the bounces? Gotta watch out for those bounces, man. Uh, I don't know. Go with the sweet hot. Go with some honey. If I had to speedrun a new game, what would it be? What would my new game be? I'm not sure, to be honest. Hmm. What would... What would my new game be? It's a very interesting question. Strider. Oh my gosh, no. Gold Nine now. Um, I don't know, to be honest. That's a really hard question. I've done a lot of speed speed runs of a lot of games, and I've had a lot of time to think about a lot of other games to speed run, and, and the fact that I haven't means that, you know. Uh, I have done speedruns of Mario 2 before. <laughs> Mario Sunshine. <sighs> Dude, ah, Doki Doki Panic is so slow. I watched the run during GDQ of Doki Doki Panic, it's just so slow. Uh, I have done a lot of speedruns of Mega Man. Um, not for me anymore. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, no. Arcade, yes. I still love that game. That game's fantastic. Uh, yes, monks. Yes. Oh, yeah. I always consider new Super Mario games. Always. Yo, BD. Yo, Mitch. 13 months already. Dude, 13 months is crazy, man. It's crazy. Yes, both players have to do this tower because this tower is not a level. It's a pipe transition. And I got to do the spade card game. I'm trying to get a fire flower here. Nice. The fact that I got one, I'm pretty happy about that. It came... It actually helped out in the long run. It really helped out later on. Yo, thank you so much. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry today's stream is not overly fast-paced. Because I have a lot of re-recordings to do before I start setting up for my streams in the upcoming months. Which are going to be fucking intense. Yo, Sora, what's going on? Would I consider going back to Mario 64? I'd probably go back to uh, Super Mario 74. Yeah, because there's no cutscenes and there's nothing that's overly long in that game. In terms of what's not in my control. Yeah, you guys can bet on whether you know if either me or Haxor dies or if we die first or how many deaths we have. How many times do you guys think I die in this, this run? Buzz. I told you the strategy about the bottom right three cards. You forgot. I did. What was the strategy? <laughs> I died three, three dollars and fifty cent times. One time. How many times do you guys think Haxer dies? Thank God that level's over. Hey, it's Mario's turn. See, Haxer and I are both fire mar or fire like we both have fire power, so we look the same, which is hilarious. 
Oh, I didn't- why didn't I get Upper Decker there, you know? We need the Upper Decker strats. Sixteen times, all together. Hacks are bumped probably 40 times in this run. Ah, they don't believe in me either, Hacks are. I- I've just caught them on a good day. <laughs> that one. He'll give me an upper decker strategy. Well, I don't want your upper decker strategy. I understand my upper decker strategy, and I'm okay with it. Yo, dead man. You were awesome, dude. Congrats on the AGDQ when it was way fun to watch. And that was me. I died there. I've never died there before, but that was me. I died there. That was my first death. I don't know how I ever died there. I've never died there. But thank God. <laughs> it was so bad. But um, thank God it was the fastest death. And I grabbed the fire flower. <laughs> I did two other extra inputs there. But. We're good. Have you guys ever seen me die there before? Never. But it's okay. You spit out your coffee. Oh, I know I'm, I'm horrible. I wonder if my fiance is back. I can grab a, grab a red frig. Hacks are bumped easily 20 times this world. That looked like one of your deaths. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure, alright? The crowd's the crowd is all around me. Shit's going on all all over the place. Yes, I can play without touching the controller, but it's Luigi's turn. You can, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see whether it's Mario or Luigi, right? This is Luigi, then switches, then it's Mario. There's got to be a way to exploit that somehow in one player. <laughs> yeah, I took that death so I could take a picture with someone. That's exactly what happened. That's what I'm going to chalk it up to. Picture death. It was one of the fastest deaths, it's true. I think the other fastest death was actually in the level before that hack, so in the fortress, with the lava right below me, which is pretty much the same. The M stands for Mitch? Almost. I was almost not Mario, I was almost Luigi. My voice is gone. Can you explain the whole bottom of the screen M versus L thing again? You went a little too fast with such complex. <laughs> See, there's these letters of the alphabet that represent certain things when dealing with certain things, like in Mario games, the M in the alphabet. And I'm done explaining it. <laughs> That's as far as I'm explaining it. Pretty sure I was liable for a fire kill here, but I no, I, I went for it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the big shot. Mr. Big Shot. Now, I could have went under those Cheerios, but I didn't because... I didn't go under the Cheerios because I wasn't prepared for it. So, I'm excited. There is a lot of time left to save in this uh, world record, but I'm glad to record this record. Mmm. That's a good question. Do you remember when the TV glitch happened in the middle of the run? I don't think I don't think so, Haxor, because 
I'm not recording off of the TV. I'm recording the game feed. So I don't think so. Oh, 6-4, you remember exactly. How do you remember that? I know it was messing. I think it was attacking you. It was frightening. That's right. So we were in the middle of our run and somebody plugged something into a power bar and that power bar was just not having it. And like six TVs just like warped and almost turned off but stayed on. It was really weird. And welcome to the marathon. Just wouldn't be World 6 without one, you know? You got P speed, but you missed the P switch. I remember. You did the hard part, messed up the easy part. I love that in Mario. Mmm. Marathon number two. Love it. Uh, neither of us did the 7-7 clip, but Haxor had to do 7-7. I remember that fireball went past, and I didn't get it. Love them. Fish sticks, love them. They're too good. Yeah, listen, Haxor. We're not going to talk about the 7-7. All your hard work in the fortress was lost because of those beginning stairs. That was a big jump there. Pretty good. Damn good fortress, man. You want that in WRs. You definitely want that in WRs. Mario's green because it's Luigi. It's not Mario. <laughs> Uh, I think we can, I know for sure we can shave a minute off this run. <laughs> we haven't got the 7-1 yet, guys, come on. Moldy Mario. Genius. The real question is, why is Luigi fat? Because he's fat the same reason Mario's fat. I think it's hereditary. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's just say I threw my controller at the TV in 7-1. Hey, I could I could be so happy that I threw my controller at the TV. I could be so happy. That's what I love about the old CRTs. They can handle so much guff. You know the The glass, they're indestructible. Yo, one touch. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the subscription, man. I really appreciate that. Is Mario diabetic? Could be. As long as Mitch does 7-4 is all that matters. I don't know if I did 7-4 or not. I can't remember. Jesus clip. No one did Jesus clip. Yeah, look at this Haxer carry right now. Wait, who who said Haxer was carrying this run? And AGDQ beat down. Welcome back, if rig. No, we didn't, we didn't, there was no glitch there, right? I didn't see a glitch. Yo, Alan, tier three for two months. Welcome back, you frig. The TV glitched during that run. No, the TV glitched after the P-switch. Because I remember it added more to the frustration of missing the P-switch. Or maybe it didn't, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember, whatever. Either way. <laughs> yeah, the TV glitched for me in 7-1 as well. It's, I swear, okay, it's just not in the recording, but it happened. <laughs> Yo, missile tits, what's up? Look at that menuing. Haxer went and opened the lock, opened the rock for me because he's so awesome.
Yo, thank you, yes. I'm glad you made it home safe too, man. I was telling everyone to not, like, dick around on the roads, man. Everyone had to be safe. Well, no, you still went for super swim. Don't go for the stupid swim where your head gets stuck in the ceiling. Fuck yeah. That is not worth it. It's such a dumb swim. <laughs> Does TV glitches make subpixels hard to see? Yes. Very hard. <laughs> but dicking around on icy roads is so much fun. No dicking around, guys. Yes, maybe next year. We got lots of time, man. So many GDQs all the time. All the speedruns. You guys like my turn back? If you can, so in Mario 3, if you can get full speed and jump forward, if you do a single frame turn back, you won't actually slow down. So I did it for shits and gigs. Hacks are forgetting what he was doing. Dude, I came out of nowhere with all these items. Yeah, the backwards belly, man. I bellied him from behind. Clench meter active. Yo, Sinar, what's going on? Sinar. Uh, the only real mistakes I've made in this run so far have been 3, 2, and 7, 1 didn't work very well for me. 7, 1's RNG anyways. Uh, aside from that, I haven't really made any mistake. I mean, I made a mistake in 6, 3 by not getting P-Speed, but that's not much of a mistake. I died, that's right, I died in row 5, that too. Uh, this is a rerun of a world record that we got at AGDQ. Yeah, I got the death. That death was very fast, though. But it still did level switch. Also, the death lined almost everything up perfectly anyways, right? In this situation, we'd be in an awkward position with that death. With Fire Flower between the two of us, but it turned out to be okay. Ah, uh, the head bonk. And then here's my next mistake. I had to lead you guys into me with my false mistakes. Right? I have to cliffhanger mistakes so you guys are surprised when I make another one. Now, the co-op player is the Haxor. Uh, this fortress. Oh. Haxor was screaming with joy at that part. He was having a good time. After that, there wasn't really any mistake. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Woo! Sinar, you watched a lot of this run too. Thanks, Swanky. Really appreciate that. We only got two more worlds left. Uh, we got this uh, four days ago, three days ago, right? Oh, we got it on Saturday, yeah, so two days ago. Uh, we did it on Saturday, Sinar. You were standing uh, behind me on the right. I mean, I guess getting the Tass early hammer in World 2 is very exciting, so the resets are kind of worth it. Oh, I hate doing... I hate doing this boss with fire. I really do. It's... One of the worst fire power things in the game. So planned, man. I scammed you guys. Yo, thank you, yes. Yeah, by almost four minutes, and we beat the current world record by a minute and 40 seconds or so. I played with Karu in 2014, that's probably why you didn't know. Karu and I did a co-op run at AGDQ 2014. Um, and that was the last time I really ever played with him. Uh, Karua is just, let's see how many tries. One, two, I did a quick turn back there for some reason. Three, four, head bonk, got stuck in the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight, I switched to standing. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14 tries. There was really no change in pace. I threw my controller, so I was standing there. I just like chucked it across the room. Uh, so I lost, what, what was that, 14 tries? Uh, and you, one try is confirmed, so 13 tries. More mess up. That's 26 seconds lost there. 26 seconds. Uh, the spade card game is unavoidable. He has to do it. And a bump. There is a minimum to how fast you have to be going to get a clip. Yes, your speed has to be 33 to get a clip. That's the lowest amount of speed you can have before you can clip in anything. The higher amount of speed you have uh, does help, but not required. Yeah, good Matt. It's all good. How many fireballs equal the same as jumping on the boss? Uh, it takes 10 fireballs to kill the boss. Jumping on the boss is uh, three, three jumps. But when you jump on the boss, you have to wait for him to finish spinning to jump on him again. So fire is just inevitably faster all the time. Nice. Nice. That turned out pretty good. Uh, that was a good level. 
I was like a good level. So I think Haxor is gonna come out of here and then he's just gonna do the 7-4, which is fine. He doesn't have a leap, but that's okay as well. Um, I think Haxor is bumped in between every level he's played. Each bump is more than 0.5 time loss. The sea creatures level. The time is not right to sing the sea creatures just yet, though. We will. We'll come back to them. We'll come back to the sea creatures. No sea creatures, guys. Not yet. We gotta be on, like, world record pace. Yeah, a lot of bumps on the overworld map is uh, based off of reaction time, too, right? Each overworld bump is, like, different. You, you, most people aren't, aren't gonna consistently react the same, right? Because most of the time you're not expecting it. But no, it's not. They're not overly long. Hey, man, when you fire kill the creatures, no leg whatsoever. I think one of them tried to juke him right here. Congrats on the wrist attack. Quick. What are you running now? Thank you. Uh, right now, I am rewatching. <laughs> I forgot about this. Right now, I'm rewatching the world record that me and the Haxor got at AGDQ for co op SMB3 100%. Timing it so that I can submit it. Nice, I love that. Give me that show. Hand it over. Ah, oh, I finally broke the 99 coins. No lag for killing sea creatures gets three stars. Time difference. We needed we needed to leave the mark. Oh, that's where it is, uh, KLM, when I don't go in the pipe. I forgot about that. So I have a, I am able to do the Piranha Plant and the Fortress. Um, well, the Haxer is going to do this level and continue on the rest of the world while I'm finishing all the, all the stuff in the back there. And that's why we set this up. So now he can go ahead and get Hammer Suit 7-7 uh, seven, seven, while I do Prana Fortress and then 7-8 with a P-Wing that I actually forgot to equip. But it's okay. I didn't lose much time. The inventory items are extremely hard to memorize in co-op. Because they change so much because the Hammer Brothers. It's actually pretty crazy. Nice. So now he goes down. He goes down. That's right. Goes for Hammer Suit. I remember exactly what he said right there. He said, I keep forgetting I have no flutes in my inventory. <laughs> Uh, it does not count if you play co-op mode solo. It's I'm playing um, single player, two player. Right, co-op means I'm I'm cooperating with someone. Two player means there's just two. I don't even know what it is. Did you see that fireball? See that fireball get? I think it would be two player or one player two controllers essentially is what it, what it would be if I did two players with one person. Do 
Do the clench. Here we go, here we go. All right, so I have to always say that there was something in this level. He almost gets hit by this plant. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Showboat, I got nothing else to do, right? I might as well. look at clip levels as even in terms of difficulty they're actually the most easiest levels realistically it's just mario 3 runners are super greedy and we want to get all the clips first try so when we don't it's like it's been like super hard yeah he lost the hammer suit but that's okay it happens I mean, it was the lose the hammer suit and sacrifice, like, maybe 20 seconds, or get 7-7, seven, seven, 30th try. 30th try, 7-7 seven, seven would have been uh, a really bad time. Ah, I went for it. I had to, guys. In a fit of rage. I was like, damn it, that hammer suit, we need it. He almost lost the star. That was crazy. Haxer's best moment. the hardest clip in the run uh, sideways clips 90 degree angle clips aren't that difficult they're really it's easy to get all the components but sideways pipe clips are like stupid hey I, I didn't have a star there wasn't anything I could do it wasn't my fault And then I was like, hey, I have a mushroom. Yo, Justin, welcome back for 11 months. All right, so at this point, I went and like walked around and talked to people. Because the person who beats the world gets to do the first next level. So because Haxler's beating this airship, he now gets to do Tank Brigade 1. So he's playing for like five minutes here. And let me go ahead and get myself a drink. She just came back from shopping and I was gonna get a Red Bull. I was like, ah, I'm taking the box. I'll put it in my fridge. Beep. Bowtie with the 500 bits. Thank you. Welcome. 
Welcome to the land of awesomeness. Oh, come on, Haxor! Come on, man! Is that the Wizard of Oz? You guys aren't allowed to know what's going on behind those curtains. Secrets. You guys can see my setup, though. Those are all my games. NES, Super Nintendo, Sega's back there. Famicom's over there, there's another Nintendo, Super Famicom, there's a Nintendo 64 over there somewhere. That's my Chain Chomp lamp. Look, it's my Chain Chomp lamp. I got a lot of cool stuff going on back there. If he died while I was walking around, it would be my turn, yes. I actually almost missed my chance, because I walked... I walked away somewhere. I think I went to the bathroom. I can't remember. And then I came back and I was talking with people. I went and sat somewhere else while he was playing. No, I don't have a Dreamcast. I need a Dreamcast, though. Does anyone have a Dreamcast? Yeah. Sick setup. It's a little messy right now because I haven't re-fixed it all from um, coming back. Whenever I leave on vacation, I pack up my old systems. I like, I have to like rip everything out of all the walls and shit. And then, then when I come back, I just throw it all there. And then, uh, and then later, later I'm gonna hook everything back up. Yeah, the Dreamcast controllers are shitty. I agree. Uh, I know there's a spawn game that's pretty good for the Dreamcast that me and my one friend used to play. Crazy Taxi. Oh yeah, the hammer suit loss was big to the family. It was a big loss to the family, big hit to the company. The other player is the Haxor. No, uh, me and somebody recorded this while we were at HDQ and got the world record in co-op, SMB 300%. So now I'm re-watching it with you guys because you guys haven't seen it. And I'm making a better video for submissions, so it's not shitty quality. If I didn't do what I'm doing right now, I would submit a video with no audio of anyone talking and just a shitty timer in the, in the left-hand corner. At least now, there's this, right? Uh, yes, uh, it is possible for both me and Luigi to get no hands very rare, but possible if I get across the levels I can start finishing the end of the world while he well hacks or would uh, fight the hands But it would be slower because I don't want to waste no hands right if I got no hand I, I should click on the level so that I don't get the animation of the hand I'm, I'm definitely aware of that time loss versus time save, and I told Haxor that I would cross the hands anyways because I didn't care. And he's like, don't, man. I didn't. It doesn't matter anyways. I think I got pulled into the hands anyways. Yo, real seven months in a row. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back, you frig. Yeah, I got pulled in anyways. There's the hacks or traditional bumps, man. 
I think you bumped like a hundred times in this run. I kind of want to go back and count them all. But that'll take too much time. Yo, John, what's up? Just want to let you know your videos on your runs and YouTubes have really been helpful in giving me something to watch while my wife is being dealing with you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No problem. I'm glad. I'm glad that I can help you guys get through some rough times, man. Thank you. Those are some very powerful words you're saying right there. The more you hype me up, the more I can keep providing for you. So thank you. And, you know, I wish you guys the best. I really do. Yeah, me too. Yo, man, the bumps need shine too, man. The bumps are hard. Because the world, well, what we thought was the world record was four years ago. The game's progressed so much. Lots of new time saves. I mean, even I've gotten better since then, obviously. A lot better. Yeah, yeah, what we thought was the world record at the time had a 7-1 clip that took like two minutes. <laughs> Big time saves. Uh, the world record submitted together, uh, Super Honeybee. So it's both of us together on the leaderboard. If you go to Mar, if you go to, go to speedruns.com, go to Super Mario Brothers 3, go to, um, category extensions for Super Mario Brothers 3, and go to the co-op 100% and it'll show names there. So rare for a fireball to miss. I don't even know that. Whose name is first? I have no idea. I think they do it with player one versus player two. So whoever's Mario. This is my first co-op Mario run. What is the interesting strat near the end? It's coming up, yeah. So, because Haxor is gonna be Bowser's Castle, right? I'm gonna do 8-2, he's gonna do 8-Fort, I'm gonna do 8-Tank Brigade, he's gonna do 8-Bowser, right? Because he just did 8-1, now I'm gonna do 8-2, he'll do the Fort, I'll do the Tank, he'll do Bowser, right? So, because we know that, Haxor's gonna do something interesting after I beat this level. And we talked about it, and I I pretty much told him to do it because I think it's going to be... I think it was... I don't think I did it with Karua, but I thought it was pretty interesting. Nice. Yo, Tilly's Riss with the Tier 1 sub. Thank you and welcome. So we're actually swapping things up here, which is going to make it pretty interesting. Haxor's actually going to use his cloud here. He's going to get frame perfect movements all the way to the pipe and then do this. All right. We submitted co-op warpless, but they didn't. Who didn't want it? Yes. What we did there was we skipped the pipe transition. So... Haxer is going to do the first tank, I'm going to do the fort, and then he's going to do Bowser, and I don't transfer. The other way, if Haxer did the fortress, I would do tank, and I'd do the pipe transitions, and then Bowser would do... I didn't know we submitted Call of Warbless. I forgot. I've submitted so much to GDQ, I forgot. Very nice strat, right? Uh, I was going to, Kevin, but I have not had one-on-one -on -one with my stream. 
in over 10 days. So I just kind of wanted to hang out with you guys and, you know, just talk, talk on my own and, you know, my throat, my voice is gone. I don't know. I just want to have one on one. I didn't really feel like doing anything with anyone. Just want to hang out with you guys. Originally, I was going to have Haxel come on, but I just wasn't feeling it today. You thought this was my first GDQ? No. Oh, I do uh, the good strats too. Oh, baby. Yeah, hit the drop down bar, Claudio. If you hit the drop down bar, you can click category extensions. It'll be in the tabs, just co op. Without the star, I, d I do this level without the star in my world record for any percent no wrong work. Because I use the star in Bowser's Castle. I went to, I went to an 8-bit escape room at GDQ and it was so much fun. An 8-bit escape room was really, really fun. Haxer would like you guys not to laugh at him for this for this Bowser's Castle. That's why I always bonk on stair two. Fucking hate bonk on stair one. Your speed reduces to zero faster as well. Everyone does it the same way as you you as well, Haxer. I think I'm the only one who does it different. Yo, Rex Wrath is going on, dude. No, I didn't I didn't get sick at GDQ. Luigi saved the princess, that's right. Now I can't remember if Luigi turns into Mario when he goes to the door. I can't remember. Nope, Luigi saved the princess. 